Dooley Noted, 3-30-2016. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I saw a lot of pronated Terry syndrome today, and I thought it might be worth talking about in case you see it too in your clinical practice. Pronated Terry syndrome is often misconstrued for carpal tunnel syndrome. I wanted to show you a little bit of the difference. Um, if we come in close, I want to show you the origin insertion of the pronated teres. It comes from the medial epicondyle of the humerus, and it actually has a connection over to the ulna, which is on your pinky side. And, and then it connects over to the radius, making it very good for rolling the hand over. As you can see in this picture, the hand is rolled over. Um, the pronator teres, as you can see, has the median nerve running between its two heads. And therefore, when the pronator teres is stretched across uh, this median nerve, it can cause median neuropathy. If I turn this page for you, and you focus right in here, uh, the blue shows the distribution of the median nerve as far as cutaneous innervation into the hand. Um, on uh, the palmar side, you can actually see how the thumb, the second finger, third finger, and the lateral part of the fourth finger can go numb, as well as the palmar aspect close to the thumb side. Um, this only happens, though, if the median nerve is impinged near the pronator teres or the flexor digitorum superficialis or anywhere higher. If it carpal tunnel syndrome will not actually have numbness here because there's a superficial palmar branch and median nerve that jumps the carpal tunnel to innervate this area. So in pronator teres syndrome, you will have numbness here, but in true carpal tunnel syndrome, you will not. So uh, back to me. Uh, let me show you how you can properly uh, palpate the pronator teres and look to see if maybe the numbness or tingling that's in the hand is actually coming from pronator teres or maybe something like flexor digitorum superficialis. So pronator teres is located um, here as we saw and what you can do is you can actually palpate right here this muscle belly and it stops about a third of the way down the forearm and what you can do is pull your hand into pronation to feel the belly and it will stretch as you go into supination. Pronation palm down, supination, palm up. The way a lot of people remember it is holding a bowl of soup is supination, pronation is pulling the hand over. So pronator teres um, can actually be palpated when you do that motion. You can actually feel it as you move upwards. The patient will usually present with tenderness, tightness into this musculature uh, when you palpate. You might even have reproduction of the numbness that they complain about into the first, second, third, or even the lateral part of the fourth digit. Again, they might also be numb at the hand. If you have a pinwheel around, test this. See if they actually have numbness of the palm. If it's numbness of the palm, you gotta go proximal. You gotta go away from the carpal tunnel. A lot of people are misdiagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome when actually the problem is pronator teres. Look for a, a common test that we do, which is the ability to be able to supinate. A lot of people won't be able to pull the pinky side up to the ceiling if they have a tight pronator teres. These are people that tend to do a lot of desk work, a lot of time spent in pronation, or even people that forcefully pronate through their jobs, a lot of factory jobs, uh, people that have to push uh, can have pronator teres syndrome. Consider pronator teres when, in your palpation and also as a corrective, I'm making sure to just teach the patient how to supinate. See if they have a difference from side to side in the ability to supinate. And if so, it's matched with the numbness and tingling, they might have median neuropathy with pronator teres as the causative agent. Consider this in people too that do a lot of pull-ups, a lot of chin-ups, because the pronator teres is a flexor of the elbow as well as a pronator of the forearm. So when you can flex the elbow, you can use that for force. And pronator teres is a very short muscle that can be used for force if you're missing stability at the shoulder or um, even into the trunk. I uh, hope this is helpful. And if you need anything else, you can email me at drkathydooley at gmail.com. See you next time.